Scheduling software is an easy way for people to book a time in your calendar. And really the pioneer of scheduling software was Calendly. But now there are some new kids on the block and I'm looking at Savvy Cal now. Sending your scheduling link shouldn't feel weird, okay? So let's see how this looks. So first of all, get started free. So it's good that they've got a, a free option here and you pop in your name, address and all of that stuff. And then of course you set your time zone because if you're meeting people in different time zones, which is what we're all doing <laughs> pretty much these days, then you want your scheduling software to translate their time zone to your time. And one thing to note is that this is really easy to use. I haven't had to look up any videos on how do you set all of this up. And I'm sure they've got some training videos there, but I want to see just how easy the, how intuitive this whole thing is. And now you want to add it to add it to a calendar and I'm going to add it to Google calendar. And once you've selected which calendars you want to connect to, uh, you then get to choose your video conferencing and I'm going to go for zoom but I know whereby is becoming a popular option as well. Of course, you need to have a Zoom account to be able to connect to Zoom. And so this requires your pre-approval, pre which I'll click there, that's fine. And authorize, nice and easy. All right, and so now let, let's take me to the app. And so here are the scheduling links, and this is a nice, nice friendly one, chat with Anthony English. Uh, and you can enable that. What I really like here is that it's very easy <laughs> to set up. It looks really simple. So events is really types of events. So you may have a 15 minute call. You may have a one hour uh, call. You might have regular calls. There are a lot of different things you can do. And of course you can say start my trial. We hit on the settings here. Now the settings allows you to set up links. So this is really good because you can set your availability and you don't have to set it for a single event. You can do that or you can set your availability for all the time. Tuesday, my whole day on Tuesday is going to be set aside for these kinds of events. I'm just really looking at just to see how intuitive this is to use. I'll just see if I can mark a spot here. Right, okay, in 15 minute increments, that makes sense. So let's say I wanna do this for Tuesday. How do I do that? Um, it's not really, okay, so that, oh, okay. So I, you don't drag and drop here. You, you do it over here, that's all right. Let's say that on Tuesday, I want to make myself available on Tuesday from 9 till uh, till 11.30. And once again on Tuesday afternoon from, say, from say 2 p.m. To, uh, to 4 p.m. So that's nice and easy. So those two, you can see those two slots there. They're available every Tuesday. Okay. All right, that's good. Nice and easy to do. So I like the usability of this so far. And you can see my slots there. And then which calendar. Now the buffer, so that means before I have an event, I want to allow myself this much time really to prepare. So maybe you want to set aside some time after an event. For example, to send a follow-up email. Hey, I promised that I was going to introduce you to somebody. Let me do that now uh, to take some notes just so that you can document things and then you can also give people you can make sure that you don't get any surprise short notice meetings <laughs> so i like this now what's this start time configure the frequency of available times for schedule is gonna so what this looks like to me is that you can start the time or people can start 15 minutes later oh okay all right i'm not sure how i'd use that and then reminder settings so this is good too. You can have a reminder one hour before, but you can add some more reminders. You can have one 10 minutes before, however you want to do it. 
and there's options here if you've got the premium um, plan to, to upgrade your your uh, branding things like that so it would be start my trial so so far this looks really easy to use what's limits what's that all about how many meetings you allow across your scheduling links oh I like this so this is really simple so let's say that I'm going to set aside on a Tuesday I'm going to say I'm going to set aside uh, one, one, or th three, three slots. But with as soon as somebody picks one of those slots, I'm only going to have one meeting on the Tuesday. So I'll just say one of those meetings on a Tuesday because it might be especially intense or something like that. And I don't care which slot they choose, but once they pick that slot, then then I'm not going to have any more meetings of that kind on that Tuesday of that event. So I like that. Teams. Okay, so this is to create a team. I won't jump into that. Integration, so this is how it works with things like Zoom. We saw that before. And then uh, billing. We can go to start my trial. And here are the prices. So this is US dollars. I'm assuming you got the basic plan, which is $12 per user per month, so not too onerous. And you got unlimited events. So Calendly is free for one event. But if you want to have multiple different kinds of events, then you need to pay for Calendly. In fact, let me just have a quick look at how this compares with Calendly. So why would you choose Savvy Cal over Calendly? So, okay, so these, here's some social proof. Uh, the Calendly user experience, yeah, it is unintuitive. It does require a bit of effort. But this one for Savvy Cal, as you saw, is really easy to use. And, you know, paying its due, it said we're paying dues to Calendly. They were a pioneer and we're picking up the baton, all right? Picking up the baton. That's good. It's a great company, a truly pioneering product, absolutely. But, um, and that we're really dependent. We wouldn't be here without, uh, without Calendly. However, um, Calendly is meant to appeal to a vast number of audiences, needs, and industries. And, uh, and so this, instead of a generic link, um, what we're doing is a much more enjoyable experience for anyone who has to book a meeting with you. So what, what sets Savvy Cal apart? Okay, so personalize the links. So that makes it look a little bit less technical. Calendly can sometimes more appeal to more tech people, I think. Calendar overlay. Oh, this is good. So you don't have to keep switching back. I do a bit of that in Calendly. Switch back from Calendly back to my calendar. And then you can change your uh, availability globally. So that applies to all events, which is really good. Wow, what's this one? Ranked availability. So that's your preferred availability instead of just all. So you say, look, actually, I tend to be more uh, attentive during the mornings. Uh, that's when I have, want to have my meetings. Or actually, I prefer not to have any meetings in the morning. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower the... Um, I prefer that. I'll have them if I have to. And so you can rank your availability. I like this one. Uh, limit the scheduling frequency. We saw that. And uh, you can customize it on the fly. Ah, that's good too. Hey, I'm just going to be opening up a slot just for you, uh, just for this for this time, which is really good. And, um, okay, and multiple durations. Uh, so that's... Allowing recipients to choose how much time they need to book. Oh, oh, okay, this is nice. So that means that they're not locked into a one hour or a 15 minute one. You can you can basically increase it by 15 minutes at a time or by an hour at a time, whatever. Okay, and I like this too. We're small and scrappy, so they haven't out you know, they haven't outgrown you know their audience. So I really like that. <laughs> they're nice copywriting too and make personalization a priority okay so if you if this kind of looks good for you okay so here's how the overlay of the calendar with savvy cal uh-huh so if this looks good to you then you may like to click on my affiliate link which is in the description below and then if you sign up with a paid account then that will help me a, a little bit too without costing you any more okay so adjusting availability should save time not waste time great point okay so 
So this is really good. You can see that it's got a very elegant feel on the website, and as you saw in in Savvy Cal itself, uh, it was it was pretty good too. So have a look at the link for Savvy Cal itself. Go to savvycal.com. S a double v y cal.com, and then also uh, click on my affiliate link if you decide to try the free trial.